What is up guys? This is Mud Digger Off-Road. We're going to do a, a kind of a quick run over of this monstrosity polarizing solid axle swap Bronco we spent the last five months building. Um, so you can see behind us, we've got it flexed out on this trailer. Um, we actually ran out of ramp, so it couldn't go up any higher. Otherwise, it was just going to start going up on both wheels. But uh, yeah, we're at 32 inches and we've still got some room to go here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and kick right in. We're, we've gotten a kick out of a lot of the Bronco community comments. Um, very polarizing. We've got a lot of support from about half of them. And then we've got uh, a lot of not support, not so much yeah. support yeah. from the other half. Um, so we've all uh, we've got some of our our favorite, most comical comments. We're gonna we're gonna kind of go over here. Um, who wants to kick it off? You got something picked out? Yeah. <clears throat> who sees a Bronco and think to themselves that this is cool in any way? Who? I'm guessing gangster pimps, pimpy <laughs> gangsters, and most people in Florida. <laughs> All right, so to tag on the Florida, I got a bunch of Florida ones. <laughs> Smells like Florida from Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Um, <laughs> what else do I got? Uh, all right, from Kevin. Florida man has entered the chat. So I don't know what it is with Florida and, and lifted Broncos. It but must. Apparently. It must be Florida man. Yeah. Um, so I've got one here that's kind of uh, kind of interesting. It's uh, from Brady. Freaking amazing work. Tires look a little small. So I, I know that pictures just don't do this thing justice, but we're at 21 inches of lift over factory height plus tires. And I, we're at 99 and a half inches to the top of the roof height. So, it, I mean, that and these are the biggest tires Fury makes. So, like, Fury and KG1 hooked it up big time with the wheel and tire combo. And if they had a bigger tire size, trust me, what we would have rolled with it. But these 42s just, they look small in the pictures, but they are enormous. Space Ghost 50 said, kill it before it lays eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris said, LOL, dumb. Really? That was it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else we got here? <laughs> Dear God, no. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people ask about the gun. So this is uh, Donnie uh, asking if the M2 is functional. We've actually got it propped up against the tire here. Um, the M2 is not functional, unfortunately. Um, it already gets a lot of uh, looks when we do have it mounted up on top. But no, it is not functional. It is a scale one-to-one -one, uh, replica cast decoy. Um, so no, for everybody, the gun is not real. We wish it was, but it's not. So I got one to tag back into the tires. We talk about tires and wheels a lot, obviously, because that's pretty huge in the truck community. So Josh said, uh, more tire, less wheel, right? So we did the math, right? And correct me if I'm wrong, it has more tire to wheel now than the factory setup? Not more. Uh, so the factory, we'll take a Sasquatch, for example, 17s and 35s. Um, so that's at, what, 15, 18 divided by 2. So they're at 9 inches of sidewall on a factory Sasquatch Bronco, not we're not even looking at the non-Sasquatch. Um, so you've got nine inches of tire sidewall. We're running 20, 26s on 42s. Um, so that's 14 inches. No, 16 inches. 16. So, Eight. I mean, we're, we're an inch shorter on the sidewall. So, yep. I mean, I feel like we get a lot of hate for the big wheel, small tire, but, like, they're 42s. Yep. <laughs> they're they're big pretty damn big. Tires. Yep. All right, so I got probably one of my favorite ones uh, is from... Telesia says, is that a machine gun mounted on top? And then Daniel said, no, it's an extension of his manhood. And then, uh, uh, and then Darwin, it's called compensating. And then Kyle said he's building a potato gun for his Bronco. So, yeah. Kyle, much respect. Yep. Build that potato gun. Mount it up. I want to see it. Tag us in the video. Let's go. Um, the reason we have the gun and I would say it's a, a combination of all three of our manhoods absolutely in in the gun so like not just mine because then it would be really small but like we take three small things and put them together we get one big thing yep so I mean fair enough that explains the gun for That's you why right we didn't there. mount a pistol up there <laughs> right. if, if, yeah. you know if it was just my manhood it'd be, it'd be a squirt gun up there and it wouldn't even have any water and it'd be, a, it'd be an empty squirt gun <laughs> but Pat said 
that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah, so I'm gonna scroll through Instagram real quick and see how many pukey faces I can get. <laughs> So Pedro gave us 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pukey faces. Give Pedro a trophy. Come on. That's that's <laughs> award winning right there. 16 pukey faces. 73 Bronco Explorer gave us 3. Um, e the Dark gave us 2. Eagle gave us a little cry face and a pukey face. But yeah, go Pedro. Uh, complete garbage. SEMA question mark. Uh, we got, oh, three WTFs in a row. Not even usable with a pukey face. Looks pretty usable to me. Huh. Okay. I mean, it'll go get the groceries, that's for sure. You, you could probably put, like, three gallons of milk in the back of this thing. <laughs> at least. It might squat a at little least. bit. But then, I mean, we we're, just compensate with the coilovers. We're in, we're in Carolina, though. Yeah. So, so that means it's okay. That's what you need. Yeah. Yeah. That's what everybody wants. Yeah. Laid back.